Bear Valley was one of the initial NASCAR venues in the early 70s, and hence the name NASCAR Run at Bear Valley. Is, uh, it's, it's, it's quite a legacy, and it's kind of an indelible um, component of our of our history. And so one of the things bringing NASCAR back is that it allows us to run recreational races, about 20 events uh, throughout the calendar year, uh, pretty much every holiday, uh, Saturdays, and then holiday weekends will be Saturday and Sunday. And, and what it is, is it's uh, an acronym, uh, National, NASCAR stands for National Standard Race. And, and the cool thing about it is, is that NASCAR has lined itself with the USD team, and so they have pace setting trials at the end of, uh, in the springtime when they have their national championships. Last year was at Winter Park, and so they have a lot of USD team members that buy for that kind of coveted national uh, pace setter, and so, uh, so essentially what it is is that the, the fastest person in, out of that pace setting trials has a zero handicap. And then everyone else in the United States, uh, regardless of gender and skill and all of that, is racing against um, that zero part time established by a local pace setter. We'll have probably three or four pace setters at Bear Valley that will set the pace. Their time gets adjusted to the zero, and that's what you really compete against. So then that way you get your handicap, and it's a way as you get better to get your handicap reduced, just like in golf. You get a lower of the handicap. Typically, it means that you're a better skier, a better ski racer. So we're, we're going to be, and this is being run through the, uh, in conjunction with the, the mountain, this is being run through the Bear Valley Snow Sports Education Foundation. So the proceeds of this is going to go to the foundation, which will be a, 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 hopefully a, a, you know, a revenue generating element for the foundation. And uh, you can buy season's passes right now until, I think it's... Uh, 15th of December, it's uh, $49 for the kids, uh, 13 and under, and I think 14 and over, it's it's $99. And then on the first race day will be December 17th, whether, committee, whether there's no committee. And then it's going to jump up uh, to 75 and 125 And what that allows you to do is it, it gives you uh, the ability to race every day that we run NASCAR, and have unlimited runs during that session of NASCAR. So it'll be a two-hour period that you can get five, six, seven runs if you, if you can, just run laps. And so uh, it'll be a great training tool for the kids, especially those that maybe uh, there's the team finishes at two. Well, here's a way, especially if they have the, uh, the season's pass, they don't have to search out the parents to get a release form or look for cash. Seasons pass. They've got it with their season pass. They just show it at the start. You've already got them entered all the all the information in the computer, and they can just go. They can go with their friends and have grudge matches, and it will be a lot of fun. Um, you can also sign up individually. Each day we'll have NASCAR. It'll be ten dollars for two runs, fifteen dollars for unlimited runs. So if you do the math on that, you're looking at possible 20, 20 dates. Uh, it really is affordable at that preseason yeah. price. Really, really it's affordable. And again, it, it's good because it raises money for the foundation, and uh, so we're pretty excited about that. And, and the mountain's been very generous and helpful in, in pushing this forward, and so we're pretty excited about it. And, uh, and, then, and then again, if you have kids that, that, that race, and, and maybe they don't go to championships, or especially with some of the older kids, if they don't qualify for JOs, the, the NASCAR National Championship is like going to the Olympics. It's a thousand competitors, uh, multiple venues. You know, they'll have ten different race courses going, and kids that age, guys my age, and a lot older, and it's just a hoot. And they have great, great parties. It's, it's a lot of fun. So, so those kids that maybe can't make it but really want to go to a, a world class event, if they have a chance to qualify to go to the national. So it's kind of fun. Where was it last year? Winter Park. It's, so it's a, they usually sign two-year deals. It, it had been at Steamboat for 